Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. So in the frontal view here, go. This position, I think the vaccine position is reasonable here. Now on the way down, so you're pulling the arms and club down while your body is kind of uh, lifted here. Yeah. So essentially your swing is all just a pulling down here. And at this side, uh, the motion is just a pull and then pretty much a stop here. Instead of letting it go all the way. Okay. So I want to see more throwing action toward the target. So instead of just a pull and then swing, hit the ball and then go this way here, rather from here, try to throw this toward the target. So you have to set the target and then you're they, you know, telling yourself that I'm going to hit the ball that way using the club, point to that, and then bring it back and then swing and then let it go through all the way to this position and then finish instead of mm, and then finish. That's uh, the main uh, what I see here. So what happens is uh, at the end of the downswing, your body kind of goes up here, and the arm ends up quite, uh, quite a bit here. Because you hit hard here and the green arms are all the way up here. Instead of let it go almost this position and then let it go through. So when this happens, if you look at the curve head pad, the curve head goes this way here. It's moving away from the body at the beginning of dancing because you're letting go too early. Okay. Instead of bring this this way here and then try to point that way. Open. So here, open the body and then let it go. So instead of uh, at impact here, your arms are all. Uh, Flex it like this because you are just, just a swing hard and then go. The clip it goes away from your body and then it's coming closer. If that's what you go this way and then finish here. Instead, keep the leg a little longer, come this way and then so that the, at the impact you can pretty much keep the arms straight at after the, right after the impact. So let it go here and then clip goes here. Your, your body. Is slightly backward and maintain good dynamic balance. Okay. Yeah. So you prob you probably have to move your right hip in front of your body a bit more here, so that you can go this way here, finish this position. And then throw the clip this way here, instead of just a swing here and then bring this up. Then down the line view. Ooh. And then uh, the back swing to down swing transition is a bit quick. Let me go back to the frontal view. Here. Yeah, the that transition is a bit too quick. That means you are rushing into down swing. That's why you tend to use arms early here. Okay. And then particularly this can be seen in the down the line view. You see, as it goes up here and then you have a quick squat motion. Mm. And then the, the body, the, the lower body is acting too early before your upper body is responding. Particularly the arms and club is responding. So. So uh, currently, currently it is a, a slightly crossover mm -hmm. posture because if you draw a line in this swing plane here, mm -hmm. then hands are staying closer to the club head, uh, closer to the swing plane than the club head. Mm -hmm. So it is a slight uh, um, crossover. If you keep, if you can keep the club head a bit lower, so along pretty much this uh, arm line here. Mm -hmm. So drop the curl to this level here, then it will be okay, even with uh, this big uh, back swing. Okay. But generally what, we, what I see is initially it starts with a slightly uh, flat 
head here to this point. Then if it's a low, it's flat here. Whatever you are lifting this up here at the end. With that, right elbow is lifted at the end. With that, you have this crossover touch here. And then from here, you are rushing down here. So pull this up. Pull the hands down, then the clavicle moves up here. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so you you need to increase the backswing speed more, and then keep the club head close to the swing plane, so that you don't have to do any, uh, you know, abrupt motion uh, at at the target. So let it go here, and then just give enough time. And all you do is have uh, enough transition time here, and then. Bring the body and then throw the soul to here and then let it go. So your goal is, in your image, try to swing the club head from here to that position. So from here to this position you are swinging the club head. This is a swing here and then swing the arm. So always it's important to uh, have good image. So if your main downswing motion is from here to there, so the target line here. Then you will organize the acceleration, deceleration in, in such a way that, that you try to make this whole in motion. Mm -hmm. But if your goal is just to hit the ball and then mm -hmm. here, hit and then coming up like this. Yeah. So uh, okay. So let's first start with the ropes. This ropes is actually a good way to practice the, the feel of throwing things toward the target. Here. And uh, this is uh, flexible here. This may be a bit short for your height, but uh, I usually use a seven, seven bit uh, length. So, uh, and then as you swing the rope back and forth, the goal is to move the end of the rope fast around your body. It's not about your body going early, then try to uh, force the rope to do certain things, but rather, the goal is to let the end of the rope go around the body here. So particularly in the downswing, let the end of the rope go all the way. Instead of dragging the rope here and then try to do this later. Okay? So let me see your natural uh, rope swing. So swing back and forward. Okay, so now let's first uh, try to uh, re-establish the swing plane. Currently, is uh, a bit too steep. Okay. Of course, this is clearly short. This is about five iron length. Okay. So it's a bit short, but so you have to go down. But instead, aim this T here. You don't have to actually touch it, mm -hmm. but bring the rope in that direction here. You can you can go back slightly, uh, stay in the middle. But for the rope swing, aim this point, and then. Both backswing and downswing maintain the same uh, swing plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the, uh, it looks a lot better. A lot better. Okay. Yeah. So instead of uh, bringing this down here, try to uh, reach out a bit more. And then, both ways now, let's increase the speed of the rope. So when the rope moves faster, then it has more tendency of uh, having planar motion. Okay. Because uh, the end of the rope wants to go away from your body because of uh, inertia. You don't let it go, then it will go around here. And then the faster the motion is, the planar, the more planar the plane is. So as long as you swing back and forth fast, then the planar motion is automatically Ah, now here, now here. I use this uh, analogy quite often, but imagine you're a Jedi, you're, you're swinging a, a lightsaber, that it makes sound. Say it responds to the speed of the swing, then wang, wang, right? Currently, your rope swing is wang, wang, wang. Instead, wang. Have continuous motion. This is one continuous motion. Mm 
Ah, that doesn't mean uh, brush. Okay. So instead of still, you can make uh, the motion fast enough, but have more time here. But the main problem here is instead of having just a mm, whoosh, whoosh, yeah, ooh, ooh, this type of motion, rather try to move the end of the rope around your body all the time here. Throw this around your body, throw this around your body. And then have the uh, continuous motion. Motion should be fast, but do not rush. Ah, on this side is weak. So uh, when you do dancing, your arm comes this way here. You are not using the speed and then throw the end toward the thigh. So instead of, instead of swinging this with your hands, uh, dragging the, the rope and going this way here, try to throw the end of the rope in front of you, your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, rushed, rushed. I went in here. In the back swing, during the back swing, have the image that uh, your goal is to keep extra shoulder turn here. And then have really big and mature backswing instead of worrying about going down. Backswing is backswing. So the, at the end goal of backswing is deep backswing here by adding extra shoulder turn. That way you can have more time. Step, step back a little bit, step back a little bit. And then again, aim at the tall T. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's bad. When you have a bit flatter swing plane, everything is a lot better. Now, for your shoulder motion, you, your shoulder tends to stop. And then your arm comes here, swing and the arm comes here, arm comes here. Instead, turn the shoulder and then keep the arms here. Turn the shoulder and keep the arms. So uh, turn your shoulders more. Instead of using the arms and they come to this position here, this position here, throw and come to this position. The goal here is you have, uh, have, have the image of throwing the end of the rope that way instead of uh, pulling this, okay. this position. Let it go around. Hmm. So still it's a snapping. It's a snapping. Look at this. Instead of So use the legs and have a little bit of rhythmic motion. Okay. Your shoulder has to keep turning like this. Instead of stop and then bring the arms here. Instead of this, swing, throw, swing, throw, swing, throw. So turn the shoulder and throw. And then your shoulder has to turn continuously. So in, your, in the swing, in the swing, you tend to go flat that way at the beginning. Also, in the downswing, you also tend to go flat here. So if you let the end of the rope go, if it continues motion, then it'll come here in one motion. Throw in one motion here. Swing here, swing here. You're going flat and then try to lift. So you have a tendency to flat, uh, slight flat back swing. But if your goal is to move the end of the rope to this position here, mm -hmm. one action, let it go to this position. Instead, quick motion this way and then try to lift this. 
So in one action, you go to the target position, the straight. Okay? So particularly, particularly in the downswing, at the end of the downswing, the rope goes to your shoulder line here instead of going down here okay. in the downswing. So here, so the rope goes here. That means you have to actually have a really flat downswing here. Okay. So that's why the rope goes to uh, this level. In, in order to, after the downswing, in order to bring the rope here, you have to go a bit higher here. Let it go so that in one action, the rope comes this position. Okay, so let's uh, just say, let's try to. Uh, still, it's a, it's a flat. Okay. So let's try to uh, fill that plane here.